everyone, Jeannie here with Belly Beads. In today's tutorial, this is part two of the eight millimeter barrels that are going to be covered with wallpaper. And if you didn't see part one, I encourage you to go take a look at that video. That was of the 16 millimeter covered with wallpaper, which is kind of cool. Look at that. So I also created an eight millimeter barrel covered with wallpaper and I am having so much fun with this so I just I cannot wait to get started so let's begin so these are solid colored paper barrels uh, that I've created and if you haven't visited my website it's bellybeads.com I'll put the link below the this is the first time I'm working with solid colors and this is a 65 pound paper which is important to know with especially with measurements and I've created <clears throat> excuse me I've created these little barrels with wallpaper strips covering it I love working with the wallpaper it really does give a totally different look to the papers itself it gives a little bit more dimension a lot of it has a lot of it looks like it's embossed look at that and there's this one hopefully you can see it hopefully the camera can really show the definition of all of them because if you see there's like little ridges it looks like the paper is raised up now you're gonna ask will it melt when I glaze it no and I'll show you how I glaze them so I usually dip my beads now this is the 16 millimeter and this is a raised kind of like a raised felt wallpaper it did not melt it at all as you can see I dip this in PC petrifier I, I only dip it once you can dip it more times the more you dip it the shinier it gets but I just like using the it once because it is a wood um, hardener and paper is wood so it's going to shrink it a little bit so I only use one dip of that and then I brush on the polycrylic and I will show you I string them on and then once I dip them I let it sit for about an hour and then I go back and see how they feel and if they're ready for glazing then I just I use this clip I clip it on a hook and then I just brush the glaze on top of it and this is what they look like hopefully the camera's bringing that in there there you go so let's get started with our 16 millimeters and the strips are made out of wallpaper and look at these strips you can use any kind of glue I mean I would experiment if I were you I use Elmer's white glue and that worked out fine for me and these are all precisely cut with my Cricut I also carry these in my store uh, on bellybeads.com and you can also purchase the the strips as well now if you haven't visited my my website I carry all kinds of strips different colors different sizes and different shapes so go check that out all right so here are some more I want to I wanted to show you the different colors so this is one of the strips here are the strips that I've used for this eight barrel eight millimeter eight millimeter barrel shape and that's these strips now when you do purchase the it's a set so you are purchasing the strips along with these um, the wallpaper strips but I give you you have choices to make if you'd like if you want another color but I do give you quite a bit because when you are cutting when I cut these out I don't choose what comes out what color comes out of it so I thought you know instead of me choosing for you offer you the variety of choosing it yourself so here is this is the red and you know what I love about working with the color solid color paper is the core is the color and I don't have to paint it and I don't know if you noticed in my previous videos I'm I do like white core 
beads, but I do like it to give it a little color. So this really eliminates me painting the sides of it. That's the red. And I wanted to show you, now here's another paper strip. This has like a, um, looks almost looks like a sponge, but this is another one. You can see that. And I'm gonna wrap it around, I think I'm gonna wrap it around the pink one just so you can see what it looks like. <clears throat> Excuse me. I condition the paper. Remember, when working with 65 five pound paper, it has a tendency to split. Now, I'm not, I haven't experienced that unless I'm really you know, rough with it, but you wanna soften up the paper to allow it to wrap around your paper bead roller more smoothly. The, this paper bead roller is um, from JP Fun. I'm sorry, I am doing this with my arms up in the air in the camera, that's why it's hard to catch it. This is from JP Fun, and I love her um, her rollers, They're, it, the, the, I love the smoothness of the handle, that works for me. Now when you are rolling these, consider rolling a little bit tighter than you normally do, not tight enough where it breaks, but tight enough where it's snugged really tightly. I do use an, like I mentioned, clear Elmer's glue. If you notice in my other videos, I'm very generous with my glue. I spread it along the entire bead. It actually prepares it for glazing. All right, now this is a 65 pound paper. And when you're working with um, heavier weight paper, it does take some time for it to stick. So you wanna hold your finger over there for a little bit. And here is this strip here for this pink bead. I'm gonna use this now. Remember the backing of wallpaper is used to having a special paste, of course, to adhere to the walls. Now you have to experiment with your glues and to see if the glue will work with your wallpaper, but the Elmer's Clear Glue worked for me. As long as you put a nice mount on there and you keep your finger on there for a little bit longer than you would a, the normal paper, but look at that. Isn't that, is that awesome? And I told you, and I showed you that glazing will not melt it or anything. So that's the pink one. So let's try an orange one. I just love working with this. Condition my paper. Now if you haven't joined my paper bead group, I invite you to Paper Beads Born Pretty on Facebook. I usually have um, some live shows. I have a paper bead extravaganza that I usually have at uh, once a month. And they're so much fun. I give away prizes and I sell the paper strips. I have a lot of glue in my fingers. <laughs> okay, this is the orange. I'll put everything in the link below, but we have so much fun in the group. Okay. And I think I'm gonna use this one. I I like this color. It just seems really, I don't know. Seems very like exquisite. <laughs> wallpaper is. Wallpaper is so pretty. It has so many pretty um, colors and it looks very, very much satin. And like I said, I'm very generous with my glue. Now, if you're new to working with wallpaper, it, in the beginning, it's, it's a little bit of a struggle, not too much, but because of the backing of it, it does uh, tend to want to unravel. Like I mentioned, it's used to, you know, a, a wallpaper paste. There you go. I have to keep my finger on that for a little bit longer. Let's see if the camera could pick this up. That one's really pretty. I also have wallpaper uh, with a little orange in it as well. All right, so here's a green one. Let's try the green one. I think the green one's really pretty.
and when you're rolling make sure I have all glue on my fingers make sure that your sides are always um, you know they're always doing this in the air is kind of hard uh, your sides have to be even make sure of that there we go and I, like I said, very generous with that glue. I like to squish it in there and then just smear it all over the entire bead. And you wanna hold that again because we're working with 65 pound paper. Alrighty, now this one has some green in it, which is really cool. Look at that one. That should look really pretty on there. I'm gonna put that on the back. I used to work with this back in the day, and if you watched my first video, you'll hear of the story of how I was obsessed with wallpaper. I made so much jewelry out of it, <laughs> and I was uh, earned a nickname, Wallpaper Girl. <laughs> I talk about it in my live shows on in the group Paper Beads Born Pretty. Um, in the past, I have talked about that. That's how I began my paper bead journey. But I've been making jewelry for as long as I can remember. All right, there you go. Look at that. Now, this has a little bit of a raised um, material on it. And you're going to say, well, is that going to flatten out when I glaze it? Well, this is the same material, and I don't think it flattened out. It actually brought more gloss to it. This is in orange, this is in the green. So it glazed over it, didn't burn it, it didn't melt it. So that came out pretty okay, right? Pretty good, I should say. That's the green one. All right, so I want to show you, here is um, a brown one. And they come in these little bags when you purchase them. Now that one looks like this. That one is on you there. And you do get it quite a bit. Um, I do put a lot in there because I, you know, sometimes I, depending on how you roll, if you roll a little looser, it's, you, you know, there's different sizes in there, but um, I'm actually going to create one that overlaps. So you can have the choice on how long you want it. And then we have our yellow one. That's the yellow one. And those strips are right here. All right, and let's do, the last one is, this one's black one, I love this one. I did notice though, even though these came in the same packaging, they're a smooth, not textured, um, colored paper. The black seemed to have, I, I, and again, it must be the dye in it or something, it seemed to be a little bit different when rolled so I'm not quite sure why but you can purchase this paper anywhere Hobby Lobby online I purchase a lot of my paper online I buy it in bulk because I do sell the paper strips on bellybeads.com alrighty so there's this one and let's look at this one isn't that pretty alright let's see what this one looks like okay I always begin where I ended. So this on the first strip I ended is where I'm going to begin on the second strip. And let's put some glue. And like I mentioned, if you're having a difficult time trying to um, get this wallpaper on, just drench it with your glue. It'll be fine. It's not used to that normal glue, but it does stay, as you can see. Here's the 16 millimeter. Um, and this is in the first video, part one. Okay. And there you go. There's the black one. Okay. So there you go. This is the 16 millimeter. And I'm sorry, this is the 8 millimeter. These are the 16 millimeters. 
this is part two and if you haven't seen part one go check it out if you visit my store on bellybeads.com you're going to see there's a quite a bit of uh wallpaper strips this is for the eight millimeter and then i have it for the 16 millimeter this is for the 16 millimeter and there we go so I hope you liked this. If you did, please subscribe. That really helps me uh, produce more videos. And if you want to be reminded of any more videos that I create, then click on the bell and visit bellybeads.com. And thank you so much for all your support. And have fun. Bye.